We're driving around London, visiting some of the locations of the dramatic scenes in Edge of Eternity. I don't really have to research these locations, not like Moscow or Berlin, Alabama. These are places that I've been familiar with for the last 50 years. I live in London, places I went when I was a teenager and that I'm still familiar with. And love, because this is still the most exciting city in the world to me. It's full of music and culture and politics. I would not live anywhere else. The action of Edge of Eternity takes place in Moscow, Berlin and Washington, but also in London. Throughout the Century Trilogy, decisions are taken in the building behind me that affect the entire rest of the world. One of the most important characters in the trilogy is Ethel. She starts off as a housemaid in South Wales. She becomes a suffragette, she becomes a member of parliament, and by the end of the trilogy, she is in the House of Lords. I've been involved in politics for a long time, and for 13 years, Barbara, my wife, was a member of parliament. So I've spent a lot of time in the Palace of Westminster. I've walked all around those corridors. I know the debating chambers, the lobbies, and so it's very easy for me to set scenes in all these different locations in the palace. I was born in 1949, almost in the middle of the 20th century. So everything about my life was formed by the politics of the first half of the 20th century. I was born into it. This is Grosvenor Square, and we're standing outside the American Embassy. In the 60s, during the Vietnam War, thousands of people marched around this square to protest against the war. But this is special to me because I was here. 